Specialists from the Delphi Technology University, as part of the Delphi project, have developed an insect-like robot called Nimble. The robot's maximum speed is 10 feet per second, and it can fly 0.62 miles in 5 minutes on a single battery charge. It uses four wings to control its flight in three dimensions, left, right, up, and down. The robot maneuvers by alternately folding each pair of its wings. This technology allows it to move smoothly in the air and share resemblance with a real flying insect. The absence of a tail makes Nimble less vulnerable to external factors and allows it to fly outdoors even in light winds. Additionally, the robot can carry a small extra payload such as sensors or a tiny camera. Currently, the device is used exclusively for scientific purposes, but in the future, scientists may find more practical applications for it. Midi Pile Mobility is a French startup that has designed and 3D printed a unique electric vehicle with pedal power. They use natural biomaterials such as hemp waste and agricultural resins for the 3D printing. This means that introducing this type of transportation will not only reduce carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere, but will also address the issue of agricultural waste disposal. As for the vehicle itself, it can reach speeds of up to 28 miles per hour and carry up to 660 pounds of cargo. The electric car has a range of 155 miles. Its battery can be charged both by pedaling and through solar panels on the hybrid's roof. Depending on the needs, the car can be quickly transformed into different configurations – passenger, designed for two people, or cargo. This transformation can be done by a single person in just a few minutes. Vast Company has announced its intention to develop and launch the Haven 1 module into orbit, which will be the first component of a new private space station with artificial gravity. According to the developers, the structure will be 33 feet long and have a diameter of 12.5 feet. The spacecraft, which can accommodate four people, will also be able to carry an additional 150 kilograms of cargo. This will ensure the crew has everything they need for 30 days. The module will be equipped with a large transparent dome for observation and solar panels for generating electricity. Additionally, the spacecraft will have continuous internet access through onboard Wi-Fi so that space tourists can share their experiences online. Initially, Haven 1 will operate as an independent station and then join a larger structure that will be gradually assembled in space from various modules. The launch of the Haven 1 space station is scheduled for August 2025 and is preliminarily planned to be carried out using a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The world's first foldable wind turbine, Alizeo, can be lowered or raised in less than an hour. This design allows the wind turbine to withstand winds of up to 155 miles per hour when folded, and up to 93 miles per hour in a vertical position. The raising and folding are achieved using a special hydraulic cylinder and a counterweight located at the bottom of the tower. Folding or raising the wind generator can be done with the push of a button. One of the additional advantages of this design is the ability to service the wind turbine on the ground when it is in the folded position. Moreover, the wind generator can be easily hidden from tourists on calm days, allowing them to fully enjoy the surrounding landscapes. The Alizeo wind turbine has a capacity of 1 megawatt a tower height of 164 feet, and a blade diameter of 223 feet. Cargo drones are taking a big leap forward, and a prime example is Bay Systems T-600 UAV, which recently successfully launched a training anti-submarine torpedo off the coast of Portugal. This aircraft is a large electric drone about the size of a small car, 
It can be easily disassembled for convenient transport and can carry a payload of up to 440 pounds. The maximum flight range of the drone is 50 miles, and it can reach speeds of up to 87 miles per hour. After completing the trials, the company plans to develop a more powerful UAV based on the T-600 called the T-650, which will be used for military as well as commercial and humanitarian missions. Welcome to the behind the scenes of future warehouses. Thanks to the Vanderlande Adapto system, you can now sort 7,400 incoming and 7,400 outgoing pallets in just one hour. Integrated with warehouse software, these modules swiftly move along dedicated rails regardless of stationary loading devices, enabling efficient cargo sorting and organization. They handle a wide range of box, tray, and container sizes significantly speeding up order fulfillment and minimizing errors. Due to its flexibility, the system can easily adapt to new conditions. When new racks appear in the warehouse, it's as simple as making changes to the software or adding new modules for enhanced performance. These systems are primarily used in the warehouses of large online retailers or pharmacies, where rapid and accurate order processing is essential. Researchers from Washington University have developed a unique and fully autonomous robot called Millie Mobile that generates its own energy from the environment. To power its electric motors and onboard electronics, the robot uses energy from light or radio waves. It can also transport cargo three times heavier than itself, such as cameras or environmental sensors. The robot draws power from a small solar panel on top of its body or through an antenna via radio waves. The collected energy is used to charge capacitors that provide power to the electric motors, microcontroller, and sensors. The robot's movement is intermittent, and its maximum speed is 5.5 millimeters per second. However, it's important to note that Millimobile's payload capacity is limited given its extremely light weight of just 0.04 ounces and a length of 0.4 inches. Aerospace technology has allowed engineer David Borman to create the nearly flawless Sea Phantom boat, which consumes five times less fuel than regular vessels of the same size. This is made possible by special hydrofoils that extend at speeds of around 30 miles per hour, causing the boat to literally glide above the water surface, minimizing friction and in turn reducing fuel consumption. The maximum speed of this speedster is 118 miles per hour. The vessel is 32 feet long and can comfortably accommodate the captain and four passengers. Currently, it's the only prototype, but it will soon be ready for mass production. According to the developers, the cost of the basic version of the flying boat will be around $500,000. TRT hydraulic trailers are an innovative and safe solution for transporting a house. Each wheel of the trailer has its own hydraulic drive and can be raised or lowered. The entire trailer can be lifted to overcome obstacles or to balance on uneven terrain. You can also raise one side or the other to help the trailer navigate hills and bumps. Additionally, using a remote control, the operator can individually adjust the position and angle of each wheel. Thanks to this unique suspension system, the building will always remain level regardless of the terrain's contours. Singin Inc. has introduced forklifts equipped with the DriveMod Artificial Intelligence System that, according to the manufacturer, can replace 3.5 million workers. The DriveMod system uses artificial intelligence and sophisticated software to detect and analyze pallet sizes in real time. These capabilities provide flexibility when working with both standard and non-standard pallets as well as with loads weighing over 10,000 pounds. 
Furthermore, the system has a 360-degree view and can autonomously detect and respond to obstacles in its path. This not only makes the system fully autonomous, but also significantly enhances the safety of such machines operating in confined spaces. Which invention has impressed you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more fascinating information from the world of science and technology ahead.